Hi, I'm Rob Pritchard and I'm the sports editor at Manx Radio. In this latest sportscast, we take a look at some disappointing news for the world of rallying on the Isle of Man this year. On the 16th of September, it was announced that the 2024 DPM Manx Rally Championship has been declared null and void after only three of the scheduled seven rounds took place. This isn't the first time the championship has faced disruption either. Indeed, in 2023, just one championship event was completed. So what is the reason for all the disruption again in 2024? Does this point to further trouble for the future of the event on Ireland? Well, David Klukas is the chair of Motorsport Isle of Man. He explains the decision to scrap this year's event and its final round and assesses the long-term chances for the meeting going forward into next year. Well, the championship coordinators have taken the decision to um, to cancel the championship for this year. Um, I think... I think it's been a tough decision for them to make because we've already had three rounds of a, of a what should have been a six or seven round championship. So it's kind of a tough decision that they've they've had to make. And um, the driver for that was obviously the the cancellation of the Chris Kelly and and also um, we had to make the tough decision last week to try and um, to postpone the the last Derby event. And that's those were obviously the two driving factors behind the the championship coordinators making that decision. The the Derby event, which is the one that, that our club's involved in, it was it was a decision that it was really tough to make. To be honest, there was an issue and a situation that we had to deal with that we had to look at, and we had to kind of like assess the impact of it. And after talking to the organising team and the other members of the the club and having a this quick discussion about how we can get around it, if we can actually do it. We, if we can actually put it on without one of the key members being involved or one of the key members not being there, it was it was it was my decision at the end of the day to try and postpone it. We did look at various methods of trying to trying to change it and trying to alter it and maybe shifting it, but it's it's very very difficult because there's lots of little bits and pieces that go together to make up a Derby event. And the last thing that we want to do is as a club is is to say, yeah, okay, we're going to put on an event and then, you know, either a week or a few days before the event, something happens and we have to cancel it or shift it. Or And that that impact is not just to the club and not to the competitors because we obviously don't want to open entries and take their cash and that's not fair on them. They'll also be working on the cars and to get them ready for Derby and that's not, that's not fair on them for us to know that there's a very good possibility that we might have to pull it at the last minute i don't think that's fair at all plus all the other key pieces that we've you've got like hog rescue and and recovery teams and all the volunteers like the radio operators the marshals the um the medics the uh timekeeping teams um the teams in the tower the changeover teams all of those people that are are key to actually running the event we we don't want to let them down so and we don't want to have a situation where they've changed plans they've made plans they and for the event and then all of a sudden we pull the rug on it and i don't think that's fair on anybody that's that's involved in it so it it was kind of like my decision to say right okay let's postpone it and give those people enough notice so that they can either look at other events that they can do across or they can they can allocate their times to other areas especially especially the likes of hog rescue and the recovery teams and people like that because hog red the demands on the hog team are, are huge on the island and the last thing that we wanted to do was tie them up in the last minute because they gain their funding comes from doing events and uh, i would prefer it for uh, for them to get funding direct into them than than us pulling uh, pulling the event uh, a week before and them not being able to cover anything else or another event not being able to run because of it so there's loads of there's loads of things that went into the decision that i didn't really want to make and and i really want to apologize to everybody that's out there that we had to make it's it's not a nice decision to have to make and i kind of as we spoke before i, I kind of know what how gary thompson feels now with the max grand prix issue it's not a it's not an easy position to be in to have to make these decisions and it, it's very very hard for me to try and make that decision and make it right because i know i know the impact and i know what the what the issues will be with people's perception of why we did it but i'm willing to to take that on the chin and go yeah okay look it's me that's made that decision if if you want to discuss it or you want to let me know and just give me a shout and we can talk about it and see what we could do to to try and make things better and it's kind of kind of highlights the reason why the club was put in place in the first place which was to to get people in and get people trained so that if this situation happens again then we've got cover we've got people that can actually pull in and and, and do the roles and um, if if somebody goes missing at the last minute 
and that's the whole the whole idea of the club. And so I just want to apologise to everybody because obviously the loss of the championship is is a hard knock to to take, and it's not something that I really took lightly. But you know, it's it's one of those things that that happened. So yeah, those are the those are the kind of like the impacts as to the reason why the championship had um why the championship coordinators made the decision to say okay, and the championship won't run this year. And um, looking forward, looking next year, we have an event on the upside. We have an event that's. 98% completed so the documentation safety stuff everything is is there ready to go so it's just a matter of putting a date on it and pulling all the pulling all the resources together to run it and obviously with Manx Silver Sport doing the well we used to call it the May event as now it's been shifted to April so the April the 10th and the 11th that would be a, a fantastic event it, this year it was absolutely brilliant the, the feedback was fantastic it was it was ran amazingly so that was a fantastic event for Manx Auto Sport and for the island to be honest and it's just a shame that Chris Kelly didn't didn't go down the same route because I think that would have been just as successful but next year hopefully we'll I'll I'll try my my very best I'll I'll absolutely work my fingers to the bone to make things make sure that things happen next year I'll see whether we can pull together another championship whether we can maybe make it maybe do two jerbies next year again and then hopefully the two events that Manx Autosport will put on will, will will make for a half decent championship and who knows we might even be able to to find dates that we can fit in other events other types of events but it's, it's now it's very very difficult to try and find dates that these events can fit into and slide into obviously because of the resources that you need to cover them just on one of the points you made before you mentioned just a moment ago that the idea of an event next year it's around in your in your view 98% complete now that the statement from the championship coordinator said as for 2025 it would appear at this time there won't be a manx championship so is there a conflict of of information no there? no no and <laughs> there isn't a conflict it's at the moment there isn't a championship organized for for 2025 but that doesn't mean to say that there's there's not going to be one the actual jerby event that we've got that we were going to run in october was 98 percent complete so that we can pick that event up and run it next year in 2025 so that event is 98 percent complete so so we know that we've got an event that we can we can slot in to a date next year as for the championship that the championship has got to be organized the championship's got got to be um got to be set so so the 98 percent complete was the actual jerby event not the championship for next year but with that announcement was it last week for the championship this the statement the statement actually out on social media came out just under a day ago okay so so that was after that that statement that was made there's still got got to be a bit of work in the background to try and bring everything together so but i'm i'm sure that we can we can do something i'm not ruling it out it'll just take a little bit of organization but it shouldn't be too much for a manx rally championship you need two two clubs to run the event that's a that's a motorsport uk regulation so we've then it's a case of registering the championship so it obviously it'll be communications between us and Manx Autosport and to try and put that championship on so that communication's got to yet happen obviously with the announcement just a couple of days ago but i'm sure both clubs can work together to put, put the championship on for next year and we can make sure that we can we can have events next year that people can enjoy and and love as much as as much as they did for the May event that happened this year. I mean, it's 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 very difficult for smaller events for for the likes of Jerby. The costings at Jerby are, are quite high for to run an event, but but that's that's something that we can we can look at and we can try to support in other ways. Just to add on from that, then just just for a bit of clarity there. So, with the fact that that statement says just at this time there isn't going to be a Manx Championship, are you confident that something can be worked out over the next year or so to or so to to change that i'm confident that the two clubs can, can work together so that we can we can put something on um manx Sport are a great club so they put on great events with the the national which is ran in april and also the chris kelly later on in the year and i'm sure that we can we can work together to to put a championship together that that hopefully that we can pull our resources and, and make that championship happen next year i'm sure those conversations will happen in the next few weeks and i'm sure that we can we can get something together for next year i mean it's it's very difficult to try and say yes definitely but i'm sure that we i'm sure that the two clubs are sensible enough that we can work together and, and put on a championship event and just finally as well um, not just for yourselves as organizers but for all the um, respective crews that are involved in events like this you know how how big a blow would it be um, for the Manx Championship not to return? And I suppose what's been, what would you say to them to reassure them that everything is being done to 
to make sure that the situation improves going forward? I think the, I think the crews know who's who's involved. To be honest, and um, the people that are involved in rallying are are a great bunch. I mean, it's, it's like every single motorsport on the Isle of Man is is crammed full of people who love motorsport, and that's the same with rallying. And the competitors I know, and the teams involved. It's not just not just the competitors, but it's the volunteers and the people that surround it and. All the little, like I said before, all the little cogs that go together to make an event happen. I'm sure they're sat out there wanting it to happen. I'm sure they're sat out there wanting want to get involved and saying, yeah, okay, every single time that I've asked people, I've never had anybody turn around and say, no, I can't do it. So that that gives me a lot of confidence and a lot of, a lot of drive. I'm sure that it can give us the backing to put the championship on next year and also put the events on that, that are needed to complete it. So it's not just a case of competitors, it's a case of everybody. And I'm sure the competitors will support it. And I'm sure that they'll um, they'll support the events that both clubs will put on during the year. Thank you for having the stamina to make it to the end of the Manx Radio Sportscast. You're clearly someone who has their eye on the ball at all times. Want to hear more about the latest sporting news across the Isle of Man and much more? then might I recommend you take the plunge and subscribe to this series or a wide range of Manx Radio podcasts at your favourite podcast provider so that, in a flash, all of our finest moments take a winner's place on your smartphone. Thank you.